my breath when I'm doing this. <laughs> you don't have to. I know, but I still do. I don't know why. <laughs> so first thing we're doing, we're going to rewrap this hood on this Cybertruck. Uh, what we're doing right now, we're laying the film down so it's completely covering the whole panel all the way around. And after we lay it down, we tack it the corners and then we go back and we move all the excess air with a squeegee you know, until we feel like the, the, the vinyl is laying flush against the panel. There's no excess air, no bubbles, no dirt or anything stuck underneath the, the material that is gonna, over time, be an issue, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this. That's good enough. <laughs> We're gonna stretch the film out, make sure it covers all the areas around the hood. You know, we have a little excess you know, vinyls, because what we're gonna do when we're all done, we're wrapping everything around. All right, so what we're about to do right now, we're about to remove the, the flares on the rear quarter panel before we apply the vinyl. Use a lint roller, as you see uh, the installer in the video doing here. Since it's a big panel, Peter here is gonna help us today. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna teach him how to do it. The final stage is to lay the film down, and we usually see it's a big panel, so we have two installers here um, applying, laying down the film. So once the, the film is laid on the vehicle and it's covering the whole, the whole panel and the, to the, the installer's liking, then we start tanking it down and make sure to remove all the excess air. You know, that on underneath, because you remember this film has an air release to it. Once the film is completely tacked down, there's no air bubbles. And the final step is to go back and trim the excess off and then wrap all the edges. So this way the panel looks nice and clean. And you know, this is a professional install. Definitely, if you're going to try to do this yourself, which we don't recommend, you know, we try to, you know, we're professionals. We've been doing this for years, so we don't recommend the average person that's not familiar with, with Tesla, the, the electronics, not a camera thing, system. It's, it locks it. <laughs> and let me get it here. A little adjusting. It's a little easier install. That's good enough, it's long enough. Well, how you see it, uh, we kind of make our own pattern. We call it a hybrid pattern. Uh, basically, it's like a PPF plot, uh, plot pattern, but oversized. That way, you're not fighting with all the sexes of the film. It's a little easier for us for install because you have the shape of the, of the car. And we'll start knocking it out. To be then we start the process of uh, removing all the excess air because the film has an air release backing so as you can see right now we're squeegeeing the film out the sque squeegeeing we call it squeegeeing the film we're removing the excess air so now the adhesive is bonding to the the actual panel on the vehicle and once with the whole panel has been thoroughly you know, squeegeed out all the excess air, there's no air bubbles trapped underneath. We we're feel confident that the film is tacked perfectly the way we want it. Then we go back afterwards and we start trimming the excess film and then wrapping all the edges. What do you think? It's, it's pretty yeah. Kind of look crazy.
close. There you go. Nothing happened here. We didn't do anything. <sighs> All right, so what we're doing now, we're removing the window trim on the top of the door just to make sure that we can wrap thoroughly the vinyl on, from top to bottom. Uh, there's no door handles, so once the film is tacked, laid down, we wrap all the edges. This is a pretty quick install. You know, anchor it, tack it down, wrap all our edges, and then move on to the next panel. Kind of good. And we're gonna go boogie boarding for a little bit. Like All right, so what we're about to do now is work on the front door. So first thing we're going to do is remove the, the mirror. And it's just like we did with the rear doors, remove the window trim as well. So this way we can completely wrap every panel. And this way you're getting a really high quality professional installation. And sometimes also chucks you the static to give you a little reality check. Yep. This is the hardest part on this because you cannot Get your fingers in there. And I'm not gonna try to put them in because I don't wanna chop them up. <laughs> these panels off now you gotta be real cautious because there are electronics in some of these panels like you know, cameras or whatever the case may be so it's definitely if you don't if not feel comfortable you don't know what you're doing I don't recommend removing this panel the reason we do it because we want to make sure that the installation is really clean the film is tucked behind the panel there's no edges showing so this way it's you know more of a professional install What you see us doing next, we're wrapping the tailgates. Pretty quick and simple. Just lay the film down as we've done with all the other panels. Trim, wrap your edges, and you're done. Just as a quick note, I'm the owner of the truck, and in hindsight, I would recommend going with PPF instead of a wrap. Now the truck is tough, the film should be too watching the video hope you liked what you saw it was pretty informative i think we covered all the basis of what goes into installation vinyl wrap installation you can always reach us at 858-291-8200 you can also go to our website or our yelp 